We're now going to take a look at fitting the hip positioner onto the dynamic pacer. The first thing that we need to do is fit the handholds. So as you can see, we've already got one on at the moment. So firstly, we need to fit the clamp into place. So ensuring that the wing knob is nice and loose, we can either fit the clamp on the outside of the frame or the inside of the frame. So once we're in place, pop the clasp down, we'll be able to lift the wing knob up and then we can tighten the wing knob. We can then take our handhold and place it into the top of the clasp and then the white button can adjust the height of the handhold. If we need to move that along the frame, we can just simply loosen the wing knob and we're able to move that anywhere along the frame. So we're now going to look to fit the hip positioner itself. As you can see, we have four separate straps. The two straps have a metal hoop to them. Those are the posterior side of the hip positioner. And then the front two have simply got clips in place. So if we fit the front two first, now there's a couple of different positions that we can attach them to. We can either attach them to the frame itself or the chest prompt. So they could be fit, as we say, to the frame. Or we can fit them to the chest prompt. The two posterior straps can fit to the handholds and we simply line the hoops up so they're nice and vertical and then push them through the handholds. When you're removing them, you need to ensure that they're at a vertical position to be lifted up. Now we're able to adjust each of the straps in length. So if we needed to tighten the back straps, we have a plastic fitting here that we can pull in order to tighten those straps. And then at the front of the strap, we have two additional straps that we can pull. To lower those, we simply apply pressure to the fittings.